And so that takes us into our next bout. We got a flyweight bout between uh, the dude who shares your son's name and our, you know, quote unquote company here, Kai Cara France. Uh, and he's taking on uh, Rogerio Bonturin. Is that how you say his name? Uh, Bonturin, yeah. Bonturin, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, for Kai, he, he, he's really dominated the scene lately. Uh, he is has two losses in his last 11, both to the Brandons, who we've known have really made their way up this weight class, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we did see Brandon Moreno take on uh, the, the champ and give it to him all he could. So, you know, these are some credible losses here. Um, wh- what did you see in those losses that stood out to you for Kai? I, I feel like my boy just loves to rush in there, you know? I, I'm not surprised. He just he just loves to – he gets hungry for the finish. He gets hungry to put on a show. In the Brandon Royal fight, both of them were mm-hmm. kind of like that, and it was kind of a may-the-best-man-win scenario there, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And, and let's be real, even in, with the way he kind of fights, he still has never been finished via strikes. Or I think it's, like, been 10 years or something like that since he's been finished. So, Jeez. you know, the guys the – kid, the kid's maintained his chin despite how much he can get hit. He's susceptible, he's susceptible to grappling, mm-hmm. though, right? Like, I think that if, if, if I'm taking on anyone from that from that camp, uh, that has to be your mentality, right? Like, at the end of the day, they all seem to be very, very well-skilled strikers. And, you know, the, 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 the takedown defense is there. That's the best part is – they, they know how to take down, they avoid the takedowns. But at the end of the day, if you've, you have to pick your battles, right? Would you rather exploit the, yeah. the takedown defense or would you rather stand there and strike with these boys? So for me, I really like this fight to kind of see where it goes because both guys are going to want to swing, swing, swing. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, exactly. I mean, that was the thing that stood out to me from his last loss was that, you know, the ground game needs a little bit of work, right? It, it seemed to give him a lot of trouble in this one, but... Mm-hmm this is going to be a striking battle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like these boys are going to throw. So I'm excited about 100%. this one. Rogerio, he, he has a 16 and two record. Like, mm-hmm. That is insane. Uh, you know, he did lose his last one to Ray Borg, which was mm-hmm. uh, pretty telling, but he, he does have a versatile game and very ferocious punches from mm-hmm. what I saw. I mean, the thing with these kinds of records, right? They're kind of padded in the beginning. Like I, even if you scroll down, I, I have, I have like, the combined record in, in his first like six fights is like f- f- six wins and almost what 12 <laughs> losses you know what i mean so like this is a terrible record yeah. here I, I just think that it's a little bit padded but at the same time like you kind of look at the way he's accomplished against pretty big names right in in the grand scheme of things so i think that even with his ufc experience that's the part that I'm really excited about. Data White Contender Series, uh, you know, another one of these guys making their way. So I just want to see what excitement he brings to the table because both these guys are going to want to strike. That's that's for sure. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you're finding that it's it's too overwhelming or Kai Kai French is too quick or or the other way around, right? You're going to have to figure out something else to do. You're not going to you're going to yeah. not you're not going to win the fight. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely this is a, a real tough one to call man i i truly have no idea who wh- which way it's really gonna go so i'm gonna take a stab at the line and i'm gonna give kai Kara france a slight favorite maybe a minus 120 uh yeah i have mine a little bit higher and it's only because like that 90 percent takedown defense coupled with just how well he can put his combos together. You know, he throws in volume. And honestly, Ben Turner in his last fight, I think was taken down more than 10 times, like well over 10 times, oh, wow. something like that. So, wow. uh, or no, maybe I'm exaggerating. It's probably close to it, but I think Kai deserves a <laughs> line closer to 150. So I'll go with Kai at 150. It's probably going to be higher from a Vegas perspective. He's a, he's a city kick oh, too much. Oh, baby, where's my boy? Where's my boy? What happened? Where's my boy? Who got him? <laughs> You nailed, know, it. you nailed it. You nailed it. Bing, bang, minus boom. Minus oh, chickity boom, chickity boom, chickity boom. That's the sound. That's the. That's that's naming my son Kai. That's that's all that is. I was gonna that's, say, yo, those are the Kai sounds. Yeah, yeah. that is the Kai sounds. I, I naturally did the Kai sounds. It's my boy. Let's get it. Well done. So minus one fifty. We got uh, plus one twenty five on uh, Bonter in here. So mm-hmm. exactly kind of where you expected it to be. Mm-hmm. And, and and that's the thing, right? I think if, if he showed a bit more of that, like <laughs> he avoids the takedown so well, but maybe maybe not take so many damaging shots. You know, he's such a good striker <laughs> that he's constantly looking for the kill, but that's what makes it exciting. And that's why I'll always watch his fights, mm-hmm. right? I'm a fan, win or lose, like oh, I'm down to watch the kid fight any day of the week. And I think that's what we're going to watch, a very exciting fight. 
For sure. Best of luck to both those guys. It's going to be a great one. So that wraps up UFC 259. Man, what a treat that was. What Discussing it with you, I can. Yeah, I could not wait to watch it. It's going to be a beauty. Make sure you don't miss this one. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. All our information is below. Always a pleasure, Siraj. This one was extra special, man. My man. It's, it's one of the best cards we'll probably see this year, maybe for a very long time. So I'm glad all these guys came getting on there. Let's just hope they stay healthy. All right. Take care, my brother. Peace.